Okay, hi again, guys. Um, this is the second episode. I've gone out mining and I've found some cool stuff, including some diamonds. So, um, I guess we can start on industrial craft. But before that, I'll show you how to do many things with equipment exchange first. Some very useful stuff. So get out this. And all it really requires is some iron and redstone, a piece of charcoal, and some coal stone. And what this does is you can use it to make covalence dust. So as you see, um, there's three different types of covalence dust. One that requires a diamond to make and one that requires charcoal and coal stone. So this is a low covalence dust, and that's used to repair um, very low tools like stone and stuff. Then you have your medium, which can be used to repair iron and gold or sapphire pickaxes and stuff. Okay, and with these covalence dust, you can make divining rods. They're very useful for mining, as they show you the EMC that's in an area. So if we like this, they'll give us a, div a level 2 divining rod. And what this will do is it will tell us in three squares, so those three squares, in, in a three square square, it will tell you what it's the EMC value of stuff that's in there. So at the moment it's the best found is 1 and the average is 1, so it's just all cobblestone, dirt, or something like that. So, yeah, and that's very useful, especially when you're quite far down in your mining and you can just look on either side and just see if there's any diamonds and they'll show up as 8,192 EMC. If you see something that's 16,000, there'll be tungsten. Um, and yeah. Also something that's quite new is nickelite, and this is used in red power and blue, blue electricity thing. And that's quite good because it's worth the same EMC as coal, yet you get about five times as much as it. So we will make a start on industrial craft. So we just get out. So you need rubber, tin, copper, I think I got some in here. Copper, iron, especially refined iron. I don't actually have much of that. So if we just go like this. I will need some more. But, so you need to make sure you have refined iron, as that's one of the main ingredients. Um, to make cables, or copper cables, which are needed in pretty much everything that you build, um, you're going to want rubber on either side, well, everywhere, and then copper down the middle, and that will get you copper cables. You also need redstone. Okay, so then to make a electronic circuit, which you need for... Um, machines, you want to put these like so, and then have your refined iron in the middle, and on either side have, which you'll only make one, have redstone, and then that's an electronic circuit. And also, what's needed for machines is a machine block, which requires eight refined iron, and then, of course, you need a way to make power for this. So, you need to make an RE battery, which is two tin two redstone and one copper cable and then with that you also need a either a machine block and a furnace or an iron furnace and three refined iron so I don't actually have enough to make that right now do I? no so while we're waiting for that I'll show you something that I always do to get um, obsidian I should make 64 cells. And this does require that you know where lava is. And also, because it's kind of risky, you don't really want to be killing yourself, so I normally put away all my other important stuff first. What you want to do is fill up 32 cells with water. And this is quite quick, really. You can just button mash on the C. And just make sure that you don't use up any of the other ones. 
and then you need to do is go find some lava, which I have. It'll take me a while to get down there. So um, I'll pause and come back. Okay, so I'm back, and here's some lava. So when you're doing this, make sure that you're careful, I like that, because it really sucks when you die with all of them. You need to get more tin, and all your work's lost. So I'll normally shift along lava just so that I can't fall in. And also, um, what you notice is that I started off with 32 cells, and now I have 64, and I've still got more to go. That's just lag. And depending on the server or your computer, it'll lag less. But once you've used them all up, that should be it. And as you can see, I've got well over a stack. Once you see, once I've teleported, they'll go back down to 32. So if we go back, if we go back home, still hasn't gone down, but now it is. So all you want to do is put two in. You can put them in anywhere. Put them over there, you can put that up here and that will make obsidian for you so then what you just want to do is make sure you make your portal above ground because if you don't you have a very high chance of spawning in underground which just makes it impossibly hard to get glowstone and that is the main reason why I would be going to the nether Okay, let's go back. I was able to get a little bit more iron for the industrial craft. So let's put that in the furnace and some coal, which is always good. Okay, so now we have eight refined iron. What we can do is how much we don't have any, do we? Um so you can do is just eight like that will get you a machine block and we would need to find some gravel because we do not have any f <laughs> flint yet okay um yeah okay so I'm gonna be making a macerator which requires f three flint and so all you really need is three gravel and then you just keep on placing it and breaking it again if you can't if you don't have enough time to find any flint because it does take a while to get flint sometimes so I will just spend some time mining out this okay I'm back we have five flint so we'll just teleport back home okay so to make a macerator we will need an electronic circuit machine block, two cobblestone, and three flint. And it just it's laid out quite simply, so just three flint along the top. An electronic circuit down the bottom, machine block in the middle, and then cobblestone either side. I do need to get a bigger house, don't I? I'll work on that by next episode. I should have a bigger house. And there's there's a few ways to power it. You can either use generators and which I will show you soon I guess but I will need more iron before I can do that and they require RE batteries and but what you can also do is put redstone in it so let's say put let's just put half of this in there and then we put some tin ore in there and that will use up the redstone and turn the ore into dust and then you can just smelt the dust because it makes two dusts per ore so it does double your ore profit okay, and then now we can go into the nether I mean nether can be quite hostile especially on servers where can, people can just leave it with the pigmen trying to attack you which does not help and there has been many times that I have died in the nether but um your main requirements would be, well of course your flint and steel but also bring in something to make nerd poles with just so you can get up to any glowstone that's high and might ok 
Okay, sorry about that, my thing just cut out. So just make some food. So just make sure that you have something to tower up to glowstone, something to break glowstone or blocks, and something to get in there. Um, if you want, you can make armor, or I just suggest taking a sword, actually. And um, any of the gem things are as good as diamond, but they don't last as long. Pretty sure I'm, I think my memory was correct. So your ruby sword will do pretty much as much damage as a diamond sword, but it won't last anywhere near as long. But then I mean it is about eight times cheaper. Okay, so let's go. Oh god. Okay, probably shouldn't have gone. Drink that is a big knockback. Let's just oh god. Um, make sure to take food with you as you might be exploring for a while, especially if you're going to look for blaze rods. Because those can be super hard to find. But they are also very useful. Oh god. Okay, okay let's just. Oh god, get in here. Wow. 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 Okay, um, on some servers they allow you to use slash back and that just takes you back to where you died or anything like that but um, normally you might have to go slash home and then go to where you died and also another thing is in the nether you can also use your slash home just to make it easier and okay is there any glowstone around now uh, you will probably notice that the nether is a lot laggier than your normal Minecraft game, just because of all the lava and fire and pigmen. So don't don't really be alarmed if you're lagging out severely. Just yeah. Okay. So it, if you're on a server with heaps of people, it will be very hard to find glowstone, just because they probably would have taken all of it around the where you spawn in. So you may need to go exploring. Luckily for me there's only like one person who's been in the, to the nether on that and it was me before. So I don't have any problems with finding any glowstone. So this is what I mean by towering up to it. It's just makes it a lot easier. And you want your pickaxe to break blocks on the way down. Unless you want to jump it, which isn't a good idea. So just mine down to underneath it. Go to about here. Just try and make a little platform so that all the glowstone lands on that. And instead of just falling down. I mean unless there's lava underneath you, it's not too bad if it falls down and normally I'll just go collect it on the way back. But then I mean some servers do run clag which clears all ground um, drops every well, programmable time. If that happens, by the time you get down there, the glowstone may have already gone. So just be aware of it and try pick it up. Okay. And I mean, you don't need much. You'd want at least five, I'd say. Four is the minimum. I mean, on service, you'll probably be able to buy it anyway. But it's very easy if you just go into the nether. And it's worth quite a lot of EMC, so don't worry about getting any more than you need. Okay, so I'll just leave those up there. And you just come over to the side. And just mine it. Okay. I'm just a major thing to watch out for. Don't piss off the pigmen. Because there are a lot of them. And unless you've got really good armor and really good sword. And you don't lag at all. It is quite hard to win against them. Just pick up all of this. Okay. 
that's it so then we'll just go back to the house and now this is starting on equivalent exchange what you need for this is at least one diamond you want four redstone and four glowstone and what this will make is this will make a philosopher's stone which is needed to make a transmutation tablet and this is quite cool this thing because actually I can use it now let's say you have a diamond and you can put it in with you can put it in a crafting table with your uh, philosopher's stone and then it will make four gold and if you put gold in there it will make eight diamond that will give you 32 iron which is good but I will cut this episode here and I will be back to explain more about the transmutation tablet and set up some power and I'll probably be back with a better house so okay thanks for watching and if you have any questions or you want to see a demo or anything just leave a comment okay